The private coeducational Hachimitsu Academy, a high school in Tokyo known for its academic excellence, undergoes reform after the appointment of a new chairman to the school board. This strict all-girls boarding school introduces male students into the cohort as part of the reform. However, only five first-year boys are admitted, resulting in a ratio of 1 to 200 at the start of the school year. Their low number becomes a catalyst for their lack of confidence in approaching girls and their disfavor within the school. When Kiyoshi attempts to approach two girls in the school cafeteria, despite opposition from the other boys, he fails to say a word and misses his chance when another girl takes them outside. An older schoolgirl reveals that all the schoolgirls are secretly forbidden to talk to the boys by order of the elusive underground student council. All five first-year boys are assigned to different classes, and as a result, Kiyoshi finds himself the sole boy in his class. When he drops his sumo wrestling rubber, Chio, whom Kiyoshi considers the cutest girl in his class, sees it, much to his mortification. After a timid exchange, it turns out that she is a sumo fan and they have a conversation after school while the other boys wait for Kiyoshi outside the school building. That evening, in the boys' dorm room, Kiyoshi learns that the boys plan to peek on girls in the baths. In the hallways, he also learns that they are spying on his class, and he is disturbed by the fact that the boys may see Chio unclothed. The boys decide to spy on the roof by using an iPhone attached to a rope lowered through the skylight, and Kiyoshi loses his doubts after seeing Chio outside of the bathroom. However, he drops the rope from shock when he is told that they are using his iPhone. He is forced to retrieve it in the bathroom but is caught by Chio, who mistakes him for her friend Mayumi as she doesn't have her contact lenses and drags him to the bathroom, though he manages to hide his identity. In the meantime, the boys decide to join him but are suddenly attacked by a flock of crows and arrested by the underground student council, who announce their capture to the girls in the bathroom. Kiyoshi manages to hide just in time during the confusion, even when the real Mayumi joins them in the baths. In the playground, the boys are lynched and questioned about Kiyoshi's whereabouts. Observing the scene, Kiyoshi is surprised by a friendly girl with a USC guidebook who explains each of the USC members and finally reveals herself as the president of the USC. Kiyoshi is dragged in front of the crowd and weeps after seeing Chiyo among them. In the following days, the boys are sentenced to one month in the school's prison block and they reluctantly accept their punishment to avoid their parents finding out about their peaking. They are ordered to do manual labor and are brutally beaten in the process. Kiyoshi intervenes when the vice president of the USC humiliates Andre and is initially shocked when the other boys express anger towards him for disrupting their enjoyment of being beaten. However, he eventually changes his opinion too. In the USC office, the president sends Hannah to assist the vice president after seeing the punishment backfire. After Mako introduces her, Hannah sends the boys to collect leaf clovers in the school grounds for charity. Though appearing to be a nice girl at first, Hannah reveals her cruel personality and violently beats the boys, who find no joy in being punished by her and fail to convince her to stop the beating. While looking for other leaves and returning a baby crow to its nest, Kiyoshi climbs a tree to see Chio at the upper story window. He falsely tells her that he did not partake in the peeping incident and promises to accompany her to the sumo match. To his horror, Hannah walks below the tree just as Chio leaves. Though he clings onto the tree branch and hides when he sees her below preparing to urinate, an adult crow bearing down on him causes him to fall off the tree. After seeing Kiyoshi falling just before her and seeing her crotch while she is urinating, Hannah screams loudly. When Mako arrives and questions Kiyoshi, a crying Hannah tells him not to say anything about the incident. To his bewilderment, Kiyoshi receives congratulations from his fellow prisoners after Mako ends the prisoners' work shift for the day. In his room, the chairman tells Mari to allow the boys to have free time during the weekend despite Mary's views on the boys and their perverted behavior. Though the chairman agrees with Mari on their punishment, he intends to give them weekend leave and allow them to remain in the school despite her objection. It is revealed that the chairman is Mary's father. In the courtyard of the prison block, Mako orders the boys to reclaim some wasteland for a vegetable garden, and she proceeds to tell the boys that they would not have weekend leave. However, Mari arrives and tells them that they would have three hours of free time if they work hard and exhibit good behavior, to the boys' joy. As the boys observe the USC's popularity among the school, Hannah delivers the new edition of the USC's official guidebook. The boys are interrupted when Kiyoshi is shoved aside by Joe in order to save his aunts, whom he is revealed to love. When Mari comes to the empty chairman's room to deliver the USC's official guidebook, she finds pornography on the computer desk and becomes edgy. 
She returns to the boys' workplace where the male prisoners are having a break and declares that they are lazy at work. As a result, Mari announces they would have to work during the weekend, to the boys' shock and Kiyoshi's horror. Kiyoshi is hit by the vice president when he protests and falls to the ground. Observing the ants, he decides he must escape in order to go to the sumo festival with Chio. Three days later during his prison labor when he must extricate the garbage, it is revealed that Kiyoshi dug a hole in the waste disposal cabin's wall. Returning to his work, he saw Chio at a window and confirmed to her by using gestures that he will come to the afternoon rendezvous in front of the sumo gym. He then saw Gakudo being punished for having forgotten garbage, which is actually Kiyoshi's fault. Later, at dinner, Kiyoshi notes the strange attitude of Gakudo, and the latter shows him a piece of paper used by Chio to communicate via the window at night, which makes Kiyoshi very nervous. In the shower, as he is worrying about Gakudo informing the USC of his plan, Gakudo comes behind him and uses a sumo term while proposing to wash Kiyoshi's back. The next day, Gakudo imitates a sumo gesture, much to Kiyoshi's shock. Covering the hole with a plank, Kiyoshi is interrupted by Hana, who asks him if he talked about her peeing to the other boys. Despite his denial, she wants him to pee in front of her as retribution and threatens to kill him if he refuses. As he reluctantly agrees to do so, they are interrupted by Gakudo, and Hana is forced to leave. To Kiyoshi's panic, Gakuto then approaches the hidden hole and tells Kiyoshi he wants to help him escape, not knowing he was about to get stabbed by a fork. Gakuto explains to him that his gestures were meant to inform him and that the day of Kiyoshi's rendezvous with Chio is also a special day for him. In the evening, in the USC's shower room, Mako makes the same references about Sumo bathing to Mari while proposing to wash her back. Mari misinterprets Mako's references as a remark on her body size. Mari apologizes for having Mako guard the boys, to which Mako responds that it is nothing and asks if they can force them to work during the weekend. Mari says that only model prisoners should. The boys are not such according to her and as such should not have leave. She also confesses that she is unsettled by the fact that the male voyeurs will be released in two weeks. Back at his office, the chairman realizes that Mari rescinded the prisoners' free time because she saw the pornography on his computer and decides to take the educational file home. At the mess hall of the prison block, Gakudo informs Kiyoshi that he wants to buy a limited edition figure at a four-year convention. Noting that Kiyoshi couldn't be absent three hours without anyone noticing, he offers his cooperation and strategic expertise in return for the figurine. When Kiyoshi comes to think it's impossible to escape, Gakudo then tells Kiyoshi he has a plan. The chairman and Mari come across each other in a school corridor but he drops his file containing South American ass photos just after he begins to speak with Mari. After a brief moment of silence, Mari leaves while walking on the photo in the process, announcing her decision to be more ruthless with the boys to ensure they will not become matured perverts like the chairman. After Kiyoshi had thrown out the garbage, he appears to have a fight with Gakudo about the forgotten garbage. Hana knocks down the cabin when she kicks Gakudo to stop the fight. The claim Hana makes to Mako that the boys broke the cabin is accepted. In spite of the boys' protests, they get beaten by the latter with a horsewhip under the dubious option of heads or tails. To their joy, Mako then orders the boys to rebuild the cabin after administering their punishment, as they were only acting in order to obtain the tools and lack of oversight for their escape. However, they are watched by Hana. Gakuto tries to distract her but is severely beaten. He decides to use Kiyoshi instead, and Hana accompanies Kiyoshi to the toilet after she forces him to drink tea. Kiyoshi tries to distance himself from Hana by running to the toilet and locking the door but is immobilized by her inside it after she leaps over the cubicle wall. As they struggle, Hana falls at the same time as Kiyoshi, losing himself. Hearing Hana's screaming, Mako rushes to the toilet to find Hana covered with urine while Kiyoshi fled in horror. Mako informs the boys of Hana's absence and beats Gakudo when she sees him smile. If you enjoyed this recap, make sure to check out the next one on your screen. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Goodbye.